Let's go over this handout uh, that I gave you a hard copy of, the File Explorer and Save As dialog box. So let's start with the File Explorer. We can, we can manage our files using the File Explorer window. So let's open the File Explorer window. If you don't have it pinned, you can pin it. It opens. You, it looks like this. The bar across the top is called the title bar. The bar across the top is called the title bar. The minimize button sends the window to the task bar. So if you click this, your file explorer is going to go down to the task bar. I happen to have two file explorer windows open, but if I click this, it will go down to the task bar, and then if I come down to this icon, I can click on it and bring it back. So, taskbar. The maximize button makes the window use or display on the full screen. So, if I want to maximize this file explorer window, I click the maximize button. It will take up my entire screen. If I then want to size and move this file explorer window, I can do it two ways. I need to restore it down. And once I restore it down, I can move it and I can size it on the border or the edge. You can make it very wide or very skinny. On the bottom edge, you can make it um, not very tall or very tall. So the best place to actually hover your mouse is on the right lower corner of the window because this one lets you make it wider and taller. So we're going to make it nice and wide here. Okay, the maximize button makes the window full screen. The window needs to be in restore down mode in order to size and move it. It needs to be in restore down mode, which is this button here. You don't see maximize anymore because it is maximized. The only option is to restore it down. I'll bring this one back. Okay, now I can maximize it because it's restored down and now I can restore down. The other method you can use is put your, your cursor on the title bar and then click hold and drag it down. That also forces it into restore down mode. Okay, we have a, a bar here. This little bar at the top of the File Explorer window, this little bar, this is called the quick access bar. Okay, quick access toolbar right there. Quick access toolbar. Okay, we also have We also have a bar right here, and I put a rectangle around it, and this is called the ribbon. And the ribbon changes the way that it looks depending on which tab we have clicked on. So on the File Explorer, we have four tabs here. So just coming over here to fill this out. We have one ribbon that shows. We have four tabs 
on the file explorer and we have in this particular case right now groups so let's take a look where did I get that from the groups are here here's a clipboard group organize group new group open group select group so the point is that if you have your file explorer window open and I tell you that I want you to turn your extensions on you'll have no clue of how to do that unless I also tell you to switch to the view tab and then you would go and click on the view tab and then I would say in the show hide group because there's a lot of commands here but if you look down at the bottom of the ribbon and you find the show hide group you're going to know that they're in this area between these two lines and there it is file name extensions I can turn them off with that okay so that's why we learned that the group names are at the bottom just to help you um, find things uh, this is called the navigation pane so this pane on the left hand side of file explorer shows all your drives if I was to plug in a USB driver memory stick right now it would pop up on this left hand side of the file explorer window so let me go and get the real one now and uh, this left side here is the navigation pane right now you can see the check is on if I was to take it off it would disappear but I will keep it on and then you have this very light line I wish they could make it darker because no one sees it you have to hover your mouse around until you get this double headed arrow you click you hold and you drag so that you can see all your letters especially your M this is the drive that is your home drive here at school okay so there's a very light border between the panes adjust the pane width by dragging the line between the navigation pane and the content pane I just shorten that for time okay so there's a little line you have to find it and when you find it you could drag it you have to get that double headed arrow there okay and this over here on the right side is the content pane so if I go to my M drive whatever is in my M drive shows on this right hand side this screenshot this is a screenshot of this tab so let's go and see so here's my file explorer window and it it is this right here navigation pane this is the view tab so when you have the view tab open you can do many things like change this layout and when we do our exercise for renaming files we are going to want to be in large icons and the reason is because when we're in large icons if we have picture files just saw one there if we have picture files we can see what it looks like we can see um, the picture itself and that's a handy thing so this uh, is the view tab on the file explorer window the view tab showing the view ribbon okay now we get to your M drive and click the view tab click once on a file to select it the file will turn blue to show it selected in the layout group of commands click on details medium content what happens so just showed you that so if I have my file explorer window I'll just maximize it and if I go to list view this is the very same contents I'm still looking at the contents of my M drives folders always come first followed by files in alphabetical order we don't see any pictures all we see is the file name 
If we change to details, we now see the folder and file names, but they're arranged in columns uh, with different columns. And as a matter of fact, we can even add author there. And when we come down to files, you will see that I am the author of uh, many of these files I made. So the details file is hand, or sorry, the details layout, it's handy. And if we're s working with photos, then our large icons are handy. Um, I have some photos you are going to be renaming all of these files. And if I'm in details, we really can't see those files. If we're in large icons, we can see those files. So knowing what these layouts give you uh, is what I want you to know. Let's move on. In the View tab, click the Navigation pane, drop down, check it, and do it again. And uncheck it. What happens? And what happens is the Navigation pane is going to disappear. And you don't want that to happen. So just leave the check on. But if it does disappear, you need to know how to go and turn it back on. So what happens? You just you turn it on and off with those checks. If you see the check, it's on. If there's no check, it, you turn it off. Select a file so it's highlighted in blue. Click the preview pane icon command two or more times. What happens? Let's go see. Let's go back to our file explorer window. And let's go back. Let's go back to our M drive. And we have a Word file here, and uh, we have some JPEG files, so we're seeing them. But look at, um, I have some hard copy notes right here. Let's turn the preview pane on, and nothing's showing because I actually forgot to um, select it. So I'll just select this one, the certificate. So I select it, and we get a little peek into the contents of that file. They're all squeezed together sometimes, and it doesn't always format. I can't edit off here. It's, it's just a peek into the files, but we will be using this. So the preview pane, knowing that that lets you peek into the file, that's kind of handy to know. And the details files, uh, the details pane gives you some of the properties. When it was modified, what type of file, it's a rich text format file, the size, etc. Okay, so when you have the preview pane turned on in File Explorer, it gives you a peek into the file, just to have an idea of what's in there. If you change to the details view, it shows you or displays some of the properties of the files, things like the date, the type, um, the size, etc. Which tab is this found on? So in File Explorer, which is the window that we use to manage our files, I'm going to turn this back to List File, um, the File Explorer window, which tab is this found on? We manage our files with the File Explorer window, and part of managing files is putting, is making folders. So what folder is that command on in File Explorer. Well, it's not on this tab view. It's not on this one, but it is on the Home tab. So these are some of the things that I want you to get familiar with. If you, we were to click this new folder, and I will just to quickly show you, then clicking the new folder lets us make a folder. This just happens to be practice here. And I type the name immediately, and I press Enter, and I have a folder waiting for some files now. Okay, so this was found on the Home tab. Okay, right-click an empty spot on the Content pane. Move the cursor down and hover on the word New. 
So second way to make a folder, and the only reason I'm due two ways is because the law